Hi everyone, welcome once again to the fifth part of the series, the final part, uh, Employer Branding, the new talent game. And in this part, we're going to be talking about showcasing culture, right? Uh, we have Rolly once again, who is an outstanding personality in this uh, field. Uh, so Rolly, thank you for joining us for the fifth session again today. Hi Roshan, how are you doing? Glad thank to be here. You. Thank you, thank you. So uh, Rolly, this part we're talking about culture. Right now, it is established before that it is a talent driven market. Right. Uh, how do we sensitize potential candidates on the culture of the organization? Now, this is, uh, you know, these are potential candidates who've not joined, but would possibly join that organization. How do they showcase their culture? Amazing question, Roshan, I would say to start the conversation today. Uh, so I would like to again uh, reflect on my favorite five P's of employer branding here. Uh, which come into a uh, great play when we talk about how to showcase the culture of an organization to potential candidates, right? So these are nothing but pride that you have for the organization, the passion the employees have and the love they display, how you position yourself in front of the uh, target audience, what is the perception that the market or the you know talent marketplace carries about your organization and what is the brand personality that you really want to show? So I, I think we can effectively play with these five P's and bring about the uh, culture showcasing in front of the target audience. And this would really help us, uh, you know, establish as a talent magnet, a top of mind recall for the candidates that they are looking forward to join us. And we are talking about, uh, you know, using different ways and means by maintaining your online reputation. And when I talk about culture, definitely for the candidate life cycle to make it engaging and keep them warm while they are looking forward to joining the organization, while they are moving through the purchase funnel, right from awareness to decision making, right? We can send them feeders about various things, things like, you know, how employees enjoy working at this workplace uh, by uh, doing career blogs, by doing a video storytelling, by putting them in front of some influencer where they talk about their experience of, uh, you know, making an impact, living a life of fulfillment, how they felt supported during COVID times and also uh, flashing a series of industry benchmarks or awards that show that your organization is a high trust, high workplace culture where the leadership is empathetic. So uh, I think a series of authentic storytelling uh, with various elements and showcasing different people across the organization, across different pockets will really uh, make a cut and uh, make the candidates feel attractive and make them excited towards joining the organization. Okay, so, so that means that there's a lot of work for all the people working in the organization to showcase that culture to the potential people coming into the organization. Absolutely. So that that comes along with the pride and love that you have for the organization, right? So you will uh, uh, feel very happy doing it. Right, right. Interesting. Now, uh, now culture is you know what's seen and felt internally, right? While externally, it is a perception state. How do organizations find a middle ground and be sustainable on that factor? That's an amazing question and that really uh, makes me recall my early days when I joined my current organization, right? Because I think uh, uh, if, if an organization is not very well known in the marketplace, if uh, you know there's not enough material or culture or collateral available through which you can understand what the culture is like. But when you join and you're pleasantly amazed to know, wow, what a great leadership, what a great culture, what a great workplace. But you know, there's a lot of potential in the story to be told to the outside world. So as you rightly said, that's that's also the reason I have chosen perception and positioning in the five P's of employer right. branding, because I think we really have to find a middle ground and you have to find what how the organization is perceived. And this is done in various means, right? When you uh, do an employee survey, like we have great places to work survey being done to benchmark uh, organizations, right? That really tells you that how the organization is perceived uh, from your employees and also when you benchmark it against the industry, other uh, organization and players, you understand that what is our industry benchmark and you know what is the delta that I need to achieve to make an impact and be seen as the top of the game. So uh, I think that is one side of perception and another side is obviously how you position to ensure that you bring in the right players and the right stories from within the organization to to the audience which uh, you know that are looking to uh, join your organization who are the candidates we are trying to attract so i think the middle ground is definitely uh, you have to put in the right people in the right place at the right time as i keep saying over and over again at the cost of sounding repetitive because that is the whole story that is a nutshell that uh, it makes the cut 
True, true. Again, so uh, you very clearly mentioned. So, so it's not just uh, you know a department or a head, uh, you know, or a branding head or a HR head's responsibility. I think the whole organization comes into the scheme of things to display that culture to the outer world because what you feel internally and, needs to. But I think uh, somebody has to take the baton, and uh, I think. Uh, the, yeah somebody has to really drive the strategy and put the stakeholders together to drive them to be to enable them to tell that story to the world and find the right mediums to do so absolutely absolutely so uh, like you said uh, the whole you know the leadership and a lot of people come into play here now what is your advice for leaders or stakeholders to contribute in individual capacity to showcase that the culture that the organization has how do they showcase that culture transparently Oh, that's an amazing question because I cannot emphasize enough on the importance of leaders in their individual capacity to be talking about the culture of an organization because I think that's also uh, brings us to authentic storytelling, right? Because as a leader of a team or an organization, when you go out and choose to speak about it, it's also your personal credibility at stake, right? So unless and until you are fully on board with what you're saying, you will not. You know, go out and talk about things outside. So I think that's pretty important, and I think there are. Uh, plethora of channels available plethora of mediums through which you can do that because uh, I, i think you can engage uh, thanks to covid era unfortunately we have been given uh, such platforms of online webinars that has opened the windows to the world and enable us to hear from thought leaders across right so you can choose some of these webinars be part of some panel discussions industry keynotes where you know people are talking about some of the topics that are really close to your heart and these give you an opportunity to talk about your thought leadership as well as uh, you know reflect and display the culture of the organization with which you are associated with so i think that really brings about um, you know talking about leaders endorsing the culture of an organization that takes you uh, miles uh, apart yeah that that classifies you as a great workplace because the leader chooses to endorse you and there's a lot of uh i would say influencership there fan following there because people really uh, you know look forward to hearing from a leader like that true absolutely and these leaders with uh, they come with a wealth of knowledge you know so i think merely they uh, uh you know talking about that well talking about that knowledge also helps in creating a perception about them and about the organization that they represent absolutely it it reflects on the value system of an organization because the leadership is pretty open and they choose to uh, you know discuss these things uh, out in the media true 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 great now um rolly you know when when we talk of culture uh, like i said like i questioned you earlier which you answered beautifully it's uh, felt internally and externally it is a perception right now in all of this uh, your responsibility is a very uh, big one right uh and and we're talking of emotions here because when we talk of culture emotion you know automatically gets seconded to that so what emotion do you think should be the key focal point when you're trying to showcase culture to the external uh, or, or potential candidates outside well i think this happens to be my favorite question because uh, someone in our organization recently described culture beautifully uh when he said uh, that you know uh, culture is something that happens in an organization without anybody directing influencing or telling people what needs to be done so it's like that happens automatically and that's so pure and intangible and you know full of emotions that uh, you know our jobs become uh, pretty i would say challenging to bring it out to the world how to uh, articulate that and story tell to the outside world when something which is as beautiful and as pure that happens automatically and naturally it comes to the people of the organization right uh, but i think having said that uh, uh, it's also some an art and a science both to showcase culture i would say why i say an art is because uh, uh, that is an emotion that people feel when they go through your career portals when they see your posts when they see your leader video when they hear an employee being happy proud and you know sharing their uh, success with the organization if I, if somebody has completed uh, so many years with an organization what keeps them going so it's it's a kind of a motivational inspirational kind of experience that we want people to uh, you know be able to imbibe when they go through such uh, displays of culture that is one thing and science definitely because we really have to put lot of analytics and metrics behind it by knowing that you know uh, you are making an impact also the roi of the employer branding comes into play because you really want to know that what kind of impact it is making by all the sustained efforts 
budget targets and you know resources working towards making things happen on time so i think it's both an art and science and it's beautifully uh, immersed in uh, showcasing the culture and i think lot of elements come into play here come into play interesting way very, very nicely said rolly now uh, taking you further from there are there uh, any examples that you could share of on similar lines yes i think uh, since we have spoken so much about showcasing culture right i would give you some specific examples uh, of uh, the recent uh, some of the initiatives that we have run which showcase us as a very people focused organization right so i think uh, we all are hugely uh, proud and happy of a grand family day event that we do at our workplace we call it cvk convergence it's like a mega celebration where we call our all our extended family members right from kids to grandparents of our employees all of us come together and celebrate the bonding and the success together and it is a show that it is uh, put up by you know uh, our employees uh, themselves because uh, we don't hire any professionals right from you know choreographing to uh, uh, orchestrating the uh, event flow the agendas or even the hosting the events we don't call any celebrity artists and what a performance uh, full of entertainment food and uh, you know the kind of bonding and the stickiness that we hear from family members who visit us after having uh, this experience it's something which is amazing and all of us uh, can vouch for that so i think this is an example of uh, culture showcasing because at the event we use the opportunity to talk about our workplace culture our awards our leadership talk and uh, they shake hands with the family members the kind of personal time and attention each person gives to everybody visiting us is amazing because i think the best of hospitality is on display and i think we don't shy away from uh spending uh, you know uh, good amounts on making the experience very enrichful and exciting for everybody who visits us and i think um, uh, the kind of uh, plethora of uh, co- content that we get right from 6 months after the event is also amazing people keep talking about it we get so much of media coverage out of this uh, right. so i think this is an example and there there are many more stories i can share on this true well i think i think that's a great initiative uh, at cdk global that you follow so i mean i can only visualize that so many families so initially it's only the employees bonding but i think through this initiative in the families of those employees are bonding bonding and getting to know each other because ideally employees spend a very large amount of time uh, at their workplaces so it only makes sense yeah to- we have heard uh- Yeah absolutely Roshan and I think uh, as a result of this we have heard our parents of our employees telling you know that our future generations also we look forward to working with CDK so what more can you ask for <laughs> Exactly exactly and that also shows that uh, CDK global is in for the long haul you know it's not just a one time thing that that's happening just for the heck of it True true Absolutely Great great So I think I'm those so proud are, about it. <laughs> yes, true. So I think uh, Rolly those are some wonderful answers that uh, that you gave uh, on culture and I am sure it gives a lot of clarity. Um uh, what I mean some of the uh, takeaways that I have is that employer branding I think is a parent uh, of the organization and uh, they need to nurture uh, the stakeholders need to nurture it, take care of it, grow it. uh give it the right culture give it the right uh, upbringing so to say for the longevity so it's it's a task in itself and uh, i think the five uh, in this series the five part series we more or less covered of how one can uh, uh, create wonderful strategies and create this belongingness that one wants towards an organization for it to succeed and go ahead so a great show uh, rolly thank you so much for sharing all of these uh, insights that you have in all the five parts uh, that we spoke thank you roshan i thoroughly enjoyed each and every conversation with you and uh, made me reflect so much on uh, the kind of journey and learnings i have had so i am so thankful for this opportunity true absolutely thank you